。Good morning, everyone. Everyone on I. Let's read First Samuel chapter eleven today. Yesterday, chapter ten. Said the soul missed the chance. Actually, Sam will remind him have to do at the right time. But for this chapter, we can see the God grace. If this is not、um, a support fight from God, actually, he cannot be a king. For last chapter, he didn't did any great thing, and he hide、um, behind the equipment, and he was only have have a good appearance, and just anoint him. But after anointing, he just、um, become a normal people. But for this chapter, we can see God gave Saul. A great grace, and for this chapter, we can see that our God actually is full of love and mercy. For the human beings, actually, we easily we will just choose the、uh, tree of、uh, knowledge and good and evil, but. Even if we wrong, but actually, God give us chance to return. It God always give us opportunity to return. But the most important problem is that if we wrong, but we still insist that no, no, I'm not wrong, I'm not wrong. So. If we st still stand the point of view that we never wrong, we are not wrong. Actually,、um, it's difficult to help you. So for this chapter, we can see、um, the full of grace. The first paragraph is one verse one to ten is the first paragraph. And then eleven to the end is the another paragraph. This is simple and two paragraph for today. And we can see how God gave soul grace. Verse one. Then they hash the Amorite came up and encamped against Jabesh Gilead, and all the men of Jabesh said to Lehesh, Make a covenant with us, and we will serve you. And they hash the Amorite answered them, On this condition, I will make a covenant with you that I may put out all your right eyes and bring reproach on all Israel. Lehesh the Amorite came up and encamped. And they came to the place Jabesh Gilead. And then the man of the Jabesh said to Lehesh, "If you make a covenant with us, and we will serve you." That means that don't fight with us. If you make a covenant with us, then I will serve you. If you willing to make a covenant covenant with us, then we will serve you. That means that intruding, they will sac、uh, make a sacrifice with them. That means that、um, they sur surrender to them. So for the men of Jabesh, they know that. Actually, they have no chance to win the Nehash the Amorite, so they want to surrender before them first. But the Nehash the Amorite、uh, answer them on this condition: I will make a covenant with you that I may put out all your right hands and bring reproach on all Israel. 
And then verse 3, Then the elders of Jabez said to him, Hold off for seven days, that we may send messengers to all the territory of Israel, and then, if there is no one to save us, we will come out to you. And here say the Amorite, they don't want to make a covenant, and they just um, have a condition that if I make all your right eyes, put out all your right eyes, I will make this covenant to you. Actually, this is um, ridiculous and is not possible. It means that actually they actually not really want to make a covenant with them. So actually they w just want to get the place and they don't want to let the Israelites can live there. And the elders of Jabez said, just reply them, hold off for seven days that we may send messengers to all the territory of Israel and then if there is no one to save us, we will come out to you. That means that if there was no one can save us um, among those Israelites, then I will then I will surrender to you. But it is very strange because the Bible not um, not uh, wrote, wrote he has said actually the Nahash, the Amorite, um, they they um, agree that um, I can hold off for seven days. Actually, it's a very strange thing because if you want to attack someone, will you willing for them um, to hold off for seven days? So for here actually is meaning that Okay, I give you seven days. Is this is no problem? Even you can uh, have some help. Um, even you can get someone to help. But they think that I will sure surely win in the battle. I'm not afraid of you. So for the Amorites, maybe they they want to attack by pawns to pawns. Even you get all the Israelites, but the Amorites think that actually I still can win the battle. So actually, the Amorites was really pride. But they don't know actually the Israelites is. Um, um, is really precious in God's sight. So you know the ending will not be good. And verse 4, So the messengers came to Gibeon of Saul and told the news in the hearing of the people. And all the people lifted up their voice and wept. Now there was Saul coming behind the herd from the field. And Saul said, what troubles the people that they whip and they told him the words of the men of Jabesh then the Spirit of God came upon Saul when he heard this news and his anger was greatly aroused so he took a yoke of oxen and cut them in pieces and set them throughout all the territory of Israel by the hands of messengers saying whoever does not go out with Saul and Samuel to battle so it shall be done to the oxen So the messengers just came to the Gibeon of Saul and told the news in the hearing of the people because they know that Saul is the king. So all the, when all the people heard about this and all the people lifted up the voice and wept and the Saul was just coming back from the field. Even he was a king already, but he still have to work on the field. And he heard, oh, how come all the people wept? 
what's happened, what's troubled the people. And after Saul heard about this, and the spirit of the God came upon Saul when he heard the news, and suddenly he arose, and his anger was greatly aroused. And this is、um, anger from the righteousness. And there were seven said he took a yoke of oxen ox and cut them in pieces and sent them throughout all the territory of Israel by the hands of messengers. I just like um maybe he divided into、uh, twelve pieces and then just like a steak and then um sent them throughout to all territory of Israel. But the last sentence is very interesting. For this, actually, is he wanted to gather the Israelites to have the battle, but but the messenger saying, whoever does not go out with Saul and Samuel to battle, so it shall be done to his oxen. So for here, actually, Samuel is not there. For the Amorites、uh, attack them. Actually, Samuel don't know. But how come they they have to say they have to go out with Saul and Samuel? And I will because he not say if you not follow me, then I will I will divide you like the ox. So actually, what he say actually is not very、um, mean. But he can he he are not dare to say that if you not follow me, then I will divide you after the battle, just like the ox. Then maybe the one receive the messengers, they will say, "Okay, you just only divide my ox, or but you only divide my my ox. That that will be okay." So actually, what he say is not um in um. So, at surface, he seems that is full of power, but. Actually, what he say actually is not in a um. And he has said, whoever does not go out with Saul and Samuel, so he just also here. So actually, in the bottom, um, in the bottom of the heart of Saul. Actually, the people was not really、um, respect Saul, and he know that actually no one respect him and believe him. That's why he only he he have to say Saul and Samuel, just like for example when I um. Plant a new crop church, and then I come out, and every words maybe I say, ah,、oh, because of Pastor Jung said, Pastor Jung said. That means that um, actually, I don't have the guts, or I don't have the um, respectation. Then every words I will say, oh, because Pastor Jung said. So that actually he was fear he he was not really、um, bold. Even here, say his anger was greatly aroused, but what he said actually is not bold enough. But because God support him, and we say. And the fear of the Lord fell on the people, and they came out with one consent. Actually, what he said is not really bold.
So he say, um, Saul took a yoke of oxen and cut them in pieces. But he say, whoever does not go out with Saul and Samuel to battle, so it shall be done to his ox. Actually, is 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 not really have a strong power from his word, but because of the God did a great work on those people and all the and he said the fear of the Lord fell on the people so actually is because of God that make all the people fear of uh, soul just like um, if I um, wrote a check and is by Adino, maybe I wrote um, a thirty million check, but maybe you would think that oh, only Adino he don't have so many money, but maybe after the check and then say. Um, Li Ka Chen, then you will believe that oh, I can get the money. So just like that, the check um, was signed with God. So actually, God made all the people fear about that, and they came out with one consent, and all the people just have one consent. And this is totally different. And when he numbered them in Basic, the children of Israel were three hundred thousand, and the men of Judah three thousand. And suddenly, thirty-three, um, uh, three thousand and three hundred thousand people came. And for the men of Judah, they are mighty men. Thirty thousand. So it's powerful and it looks great because suddenly so many people come out and they become an army. How how the army come out actually is because of God. So actually, who is the king of Israelites? If not because of the God, actually no one will come or become the army. Maybe only they only have three, five people, but because of the God, did a great work among those heart of the Israelites, and they can gather as an army. And verse nine, and they said to the messengers who came, thus you shall say to the men of Jabesh Gideon, tomorrow by the time the sun is hot, you shall have help. Then the messengers came and reported it to the men of Jabesh, and they were glad. Therefore, the man of Jabesh said, "Tomorrow you, we will come out to you, and you may do with us whatever seems good to you." So they just reply, Jabesh Gideon, "Tomorrow, by the time the sun is hot, you shall have help. Maybe twelve o'clock, and you shall have help." And tomorrow afternoon time. You will get help, and all the people was glad. And the man of Jabesh and say, "Tomorrow we will come out to you, and you may do with us whatever seems good to you, so that let the uh, Amorites don't have any preparation." And Saul. Can fight with them. So we can see the men of Jabesh. Actually, they also have the wisdom, and we can see the ending of this chapter, verse eleven. So it was on the next day that Saul put the people in three companies, and they came into the midst of the camp in the morning watch and kill Amorites until the heat of the day, and it happened that. Five were scattered, so that no two of them were left together. Then the people said to Saul, "Who is he?" Who? So for here, you know that actually, Saul actually is good, because here he he know、um, he have the strategies, 
and he put the people in three companies, and they came in the midst of the came in the morning watch, is uh, is attacked them suddenly, and then he just suddenly came into the midst of the came. Um, at that time, maybe um they usually they would um put the army in the um, certain uh uh but for so he came into the midst of came suddenly. Maybe for Amorites, they still don't know who is who, and but suddenly they just came to the midst of the camp, and the Amorites cannot do any preparation, and then say they killed the Amorites until the heat of the day, and it means that from the morning to the heat of the day is few hours. And it happened that those who survived were scattered, so that no two of them were left together. So this is a totally victory, and said no two of them were left together. For the battle, we should have partners, but they lose the battle, and they were scattered. And even no partner, all the people left one by one. So for the battle, if they just scatter, actually they cannot win the battle. So for now, maybe we can have walkie-talkie, and we can um listen to the commander. But for for that for those days. They have to gather together. They have to hear the command from the commander. They have to hear the command. But because they were scattered, so even the commander want to say anything. But because all the people were scattered, actually, they 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 will lose. That means that the arm armorized arm they they only ran away. So for this battle, actually, so we win the battle totally greatly win the battle. First, uh, for the beginning, actually, Amorites think that they will surely win the battle, but because they suddenly came into the midst of the camp, and the Amorites cannot fight with them, and it said they were all scattered, and they totally lost. And the Israelites get the victory. And verse twelve. Then the people said to Samuel, "This is after the battle." And all the army came back to their own place. And I think Samuel also heard about this and know about this. Then the people said to Samuel, "Samuel also know that the battle surely win, because he know that God will help Saul." Then the people said to speak Samuel, "Who is he who said shall Saul reign over us? Bring the men that we may put them to death." But Saul said, "Not a man shall be put to death this day, for today the Lord has accomplished salvation in Israel." Is who is who said shall Saul reign over us? Bring the men that we 
may put them to death. So for the people who said this, actually all the Israelites know that. All the Israelites heard about this. But before that, no one supports Saul. If they really support Saul, they should. If they heard this words, they should come out and say, "Who, who, who said this?" So actually, maybe they actually have a same thought with them. But now, because the soul have the victory, and the people just say, "Who said this before?" Then we will put them to death. And Saul said, "Not a man shall be put to death this day, for today the Lord has accomplished salvation in Israel." So, for this time, all the heart of the Israelites turn to Saul. But when we saw chapter ten, he said, "This is the first planning of God." Actually, it's not. So the actually God asked Saul to do as the occasion demands because at that times, um, have Philistine garrison there, but because Saul not catch the the the, the precious opportunities to attack. So he cannot have. So after this battle, and Samuel can really become a king, and all the people respect him. And verse fourteen, then Samuel said to the people, "Come, let us go to." Gilgal and renew the kingdom there. So all the people went to Gilgal, and there they made Saul king before the Lord in Gilgal. There they made sacrifice of peace offerings before the Lord, and there Saul and all the men of Israel rejoiced greatly. So, for here, actually, it's late for Saul to、um, renew the kingdom. So if Saul did what God wanted him to do, actually he can establish his kingdom earlier. How come he, they have to establish the kingdom of at、uh, Google, but not there? Actually, what is meaning of Google? Google. This is the first place that before the Israelites go into the Promised Land. That is the first point before they go into the Canaan, the land of Canaan, and they have the circumcision there. And the circumcision is meaning that they confirm the relationship between the God and the Israelites. So the Samuel just remind all the people that you have to go back to Gugu. That means that we have to recall, remind what happened there before. Actually, how come the Israelites can get that land, and how come they can stand there? Is because of God. If not because of God, actually they cannot leave Egypt, and they they will become slaves from generation to generation, and then they cannot have the freedom. Because of God, that they can get into the land of Canaan, and they can have the 
possession or the possession of the land of Canaan. For today, they have to set a king. They have to renew the kingdom. They have to go back to Gilgal because they don't. They cannot forget God. They cannot forget the covenant between the Israelites of the and, and the God. So for today, brothers and sisters, whatever you are now, what situation you are facing now, you are at a high place or low place, but we should、um, go back to our lowest place. Gilgal is a place like this. Is their lowest place. So for the heart of the Israelites this day, they think that they are at a, at a high place because they can they get a great victory. They are so joy rejoice and they are so glad. But Samuel just bring back to the Gilgal. So when actually for human beings we can easily to catch God when we are at the lowest place, but when they are we are、um, at the higher place when we are prosperous, actually we you we easily to forget God. So even we are at the prosperous and we are.、Um, Rejoice, and we are at the high place. We have to go back to giggle, and then we have to.、Um, we we have to remind. We have to remember our origin. We have to remember our God. So maybe we usually we easily to cry out to God, but we but we are not easily to have thanksgiving. So even we are good, we we are、um, we are prosperous, but we should、um, thanks. We have to give thanks to our God, and we have to return to our lowest point. And he has said, and their soul and all the men of Israel rejoice greatly. So for this time. Saul have the glory as to become the king of Israel, and he was different in this chapter. And for today, we also have to learn this lesson that we should follow our God, and God is the core of our life. Whatever we are in the difficulties or we are in the prosperous, we also have to follow our God, and we have to stand firm and not be shaken. Hallelujah! God is our origin. When we facing difficulties, God is with us, and even when we are prosperous, we also believe that. We have to lie on Him. Hallelujah, Lord! We praise Your name because You are our help. Because every time when we facing problems and difficulties, when we look upon You, You help us once again and again. Thank you, Lord, because you are the righteous God and you are full of love. Every time we cry out to you, we will listen, and every time we are facing problems, you will save us and give us strength that we can facing our difficulties in our life. Thank you. You are full of mercy and grace, and you are mighty God. Lord, we thank you, you. Brother and sister, when we read the story of Saul, even Saul is full of weakness. Yesterday we read that even he was filled with the Holy Spirit. God asked him. Have to do, have to fight with the Philistines, but because he full of fear, but he, he just hide behind the equipment. Even 
they draw the lot, and he just hide himself. But for today, when Saul facing the people, and he have to gather them to attack the Amorites. Actually, Saul is also full of faith. He have to say, if the one not follow Saul and Samuel, it will also cut their eyes. Even he was full of fear, but God made the people fear and. God let all the people came out with one consent. God did the things by Himself, and He helped Saul and to save Israel. This is the heart of God that He really want to save Israel, and He still have grace to help Saul. Even he was full of weaknesses. And he, the, our God, is the one that always gives us chances. And after they win the battle, Samuel just bring all the people go back to Gilgal and renew the kingdom there. And they have to go back to the origin and remember they have a covenant there with God. So for today. Maybe we're facing difficulties. Maybe now we are not facing any special things, but we still have to go back to our giggle. Not forget our God. Actually, everything is because of the. Grace of God. Shall we look back to our lowest point, and we will reflect that actually is because of the grace of God. Actually, we are also full of weakness, and we are full of fa- fear, and. We always sin to God, and we always do something wrong. We are self-centered, and we are full of pride. And sometimes we are we have self-pity. And we always want to protect by ourselves. Actually, we are full of faith, full of fear, and we are stubborn. I'm, we are not willing to hear, and our life is just like a mess. Do we also give grace to our friends or colleagues or our cell group members? Are we stand、um, under the tree of? Good and evil, or the tree of life, or maybe you want to give up some relationship because you feel not easy. Should we just stand under the tree of life that we can、um, help our spouse and believe that? Maybe we under the tree of good and evil. We should reflect ourselves and we pray for the relationship. We can pray for the relationship. Maybe your relationship with your spouse, your kids, your children, or your colleagues, or your cell group members. We pray for the relationship that may God help us, that we can、um, give someone grace. Lord, 
we admit that sometimes we just stand under the tree of good and evil. We don't have grace upon other people. Holy Spirit, may you fill upon us once again. May you give us the mercy and love. That's we can love each other, and we can have mercy on other people, and we hand over to you those relationship. Then we will not become a judge to judge other people, and we can pray for other people. That we believe that God, you love them, and you will help them. May you become the king in those relationship. That we can have a mercy heart. Even we, if not because of your grace, actually we are the same. We also do something wrong, and we need grace. We need chances to change. So we also have to give chance to people. Holy Spirit, may you help us. Your love fill upon us, and use your sight and to see the people around us. Just like Samuel, he has the sight from God, because Samuel know that God chosen Saul, and even Saul is full of weakness, but. Samuel just keep on helping Saul, and we can under the tree of life to establish someone. May your God fill upon us and change us. Hear our prayer in Jesus' name, Amen. First Samuel chapter eleven, word seven. So he took a yoke of oats and cut them in pieces and sent them throughout all the territory of Israel by the hands of messengers, saying, "Whoever does not go out with Saul and Samuel to battle, so it shall be done to his ox." And verse thirteen, um. Fourteen. The Samuel said to the people, "Come, let us go to Gilgal and renew the kingdom there." In this chapter, we can see a picture. Saul and what is the difference between Saul and Samuel? If Saul can see his weaknesses, if Saul know that he he need Samuel. If he know that this is his、um, weaknesses, that he know that God is is really his origin and his power come from. If Saul can hurt from God just like Samuel, then Saul can be strengthened and his kingdom will be powerful. So the difference of Saul and Samuel. Samuel choose to go back to the Gilgal. Saul don't know how to hold on the word of God. Don't know how to hear from God. Samuel choose God. Saul just cannot do it any decision. May Holy Spirit also help us today. And we can have a have just have a life just like Samuel that we can always go back to Google because the key is our God. The key is our God that we may all of us only focus on God just like Samuel. Whole life he only hear from God. Every word of the God he will hear, and every word he listen he will speak it out. So nothing, um, every every words of Samuel speak it out will 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 not um 
will not fall down. May God just put this picture in our heart that we can see the differences between Samuel and Saul. That you are full of mercy and love. How you help Saul and support Saul, you keep you give his many many chance, and you just help him, and then that. You help so that he can win the battle, and then he can fight with the Amorites. And God, you let us know that actually we are same as so. Actually, victory is because of the hand of God. So we can light on you, then we put you first in our life. That we know that you you can help us in every battle in our life. If we don't have you, we don't have anything. Just like Saul, so we teach us that we can follow you and teach us that we can put all your words in our hearts. We will precious your word and we will follow you. When we follow you like this, in Jesus' name, I bless all the brothers and sister. Everything will be prosperous. God will be with you every day, help you, and establish you, and lift you up. Hear our prayer in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Lord. May God help all of you. Okay. Okay. Bye bye.